Mathematicians are not people who find maths easy, but who enjoy how hard it is. A-level maths is built on the idea of problem solving and finding the resilience to keep going until you find a solution. We offer A-level maths, A-level stats and A-level further maths. A-level maths consists of both pure, which is mainly algebra, and applied maths, where we apply context to the pure topics that we have learned. Further Maths is a fast-paced course which is designed for students who really love mathematics and have the desire to study it in much more depth. As a further mathematician, you will study the full Maths A-level in the first year and then progress onto the Further Mathematics A-level in your second year. This will count for two subjects on your timetable and you will gain two A-level qualifications over the two years. You will choose two other subjects alongside this to give some flexibility at the end of the first year. Just like A-level maths, you will study both pure and applied mathematics. A-level stats might appeal if you are seeking to pursue the study of a numerate post-16 subject but do not wish to study pure mathematics. You can, however, study both A-level maths and A-level stats at the same time. A-level stats complement subjects such as A-level biology, psychology, geography, PE, business studies and accounting. The emphasis is on using and applying statistics. You will interpret statistical information and results in context and critically assess the reliability and validity of statistical methodologies. What will I study? You will begin A-level maths by recapping topics like SIRDs, indices and quadratics, which you should be familiar with from your GCSE. You will move on to calculus and trigonometry, which are the most important topics in A-level maths. Calculus consists of differentiation and integration, which considers the gradient and area underneath a curve. And trigonometry studies relationships between side lengths and angles of triangles. Collectively, these pure topics make up two-thirds of your qualification. The remaining third of your qualification is Applied Maths, which is made up of statistics and mechanics. Statistics teaches you about data analysis and probability, and mechanics teaches you about forces and motion. If you choose to study further maths, you will cover all of the A-level maths content during your first year as you will have twice as many lessons as the standard Maths A-level. We will teach all the AS content before Christmas and then spend the remainder of the year covering the A2 content. In the second year, you will study Further Maths. We teach AS Further Maths content and the A2 Further Maths content alongside each other. Some of the content that will be covered includes complex numbers, where we learn that there is an answer to what is the square root of minus one, and polar coordinates, where we study a new coordinate system. You will move on to the applied content, which includes statistics topics such as goodness of fit, hypothesis tests, and the central limit theorem. Lastly, the mechanics chapters include topics such as impulse and power, and the study of elastic strings and springs. If you choose to study A-level statistics, you will begin the course by developing your GCSE knowledge of numerical measures, statistical diagrams, sampling, correlation and basic probability. We will then introduce hypothesis testing, where we use data from a sample to draw conclusions about a population parameter. Hypothesis testing is a formal procedure for investigating ideas and is most often used by scientists and businesses to test theories and trial new products or strategies with a high level of confidence. Hypothesis testing is the most important skill you will develop during the qualification and you will learn how to carry out a large range of tests and the conditions that they each need to satisfy in order to make your conclusion valid. The statistical enquiry cycle underpins the entire A-level stats course and helps you to appreciate the real-world context of statistics. During the course, you will develop your understanding of the cycle and develop three key skills, interpretation, analysis and evaluation. You will be required to analyse statistical information and form your own opinions. 
You may be asked to discuss how you would collect data in order to eliminate bias, how you would use the data to draw conclusions, how you would present the data using statistical diagrams, and what would you do differently to improve the results. Are there any extracurricular activities? We encourage you to take part in the UKMT Senior Maths Challenge. It's a 90 minute multiple choice challenge that encourages mathematical reasoning, precision of thought and fluency in using basic mathematical techniques to solve interesting problems. Strong problem solving skills are essential for A-level maths and this challenge provides a fun way to develop these skills. We also run a maths clinic which provides support if you are struggling with classwork or homework. Whilst you'll only be taught by one maths teacher when you access our support and help sessions, it is likely you will come across the whole team. It doesn't matter which class you are in, you can ask any of us for help. How will I be assessed? Across all maths A-levels, there will be six internal assessments each year, including two mock exams. In maths, there are two external exams at the end of year one, one pure paper and one applied paper. These do not count towards your final grade. In year two, there'll be three external exams, two pure and one applied. If you study further maths, you have the option to sit the two AS maths papers at the end of the first year, or the three A2 maths papers. We will individually discuss this with you after Christmas to ensure you are making the correct choice. In year two, when you study the further maths content, there will be four exams, two pure, one statistics and one mechanics. In A-level stats, there are no external exams at the end of the first year. You will sit two internal papers which will be marked by the maths team. In year two, you will sit three external exams. The first paper assesses data and probability, the second assesses statistical inference and the third paper assesses the whole specification. What are the entry requirements? Strong algebraic skills are essential for the maths and further maths A-levels. A GCSE question requires up to two or three skills, where an A-level question can draw upon five or six at any one time. Therefore, you will achieve a grade six or above to study A-level maths and a grade eight to study further maths. Due to the analysis skills needed, the entry criteria to study A-level stats is a grade five in both GCSE English and higher tier maths. You must also achieve at least six grade fives at GCSE across any subjects. Where could this subject lead? Universities and employers value maths as it is a prerequisite subject for a huge number of degrees and apprenticeships. People who have studied maths have an excellent choice of careers, many of which involve very well-paid professions. Maths is usually a facilitating subject. It provides a wide range of options for further study due to the problem solving, data analysis, logic and interpretation skills which are developed through the studying of the course. Maths could help learners gain careers in IT, engineering, consultancy, banking and finance. The skills you will acquire through studying A-level statistics could also serve you well in a number of future careers. Statisticians use mathematical techniques to analyse and interpret data and draw conclusions. They work with the data that is all around us and the opportunities for work are vast. In our modern data-rich world, the demand for statisticians is increasing every year. If you study statistics, you can expect to attain a career as an actuary, accountant, data analyst, operational researcher or statistician. I hope you have found this useful and please contact us if you have any questions.